welcome. Today's class is going to be a combination of yoga and Pilates. Uh, we call it yoga Lotties. So we'll start with a quick warm up and go right onto our backs to get into some Pilates. We'll mix in a little bit of yoga with that and we'll give a nice stretch in at the end. So hopefully you enjoy this class. I'm going to try to keep it around 30 minutes, so it'll be a good class to just go into whenever you just have a little bit of time um, and you want to get your body moving. So hopefully you enjoy this. All we need is a mat um, and unless you're on a carpet and then you really don't need the mat uh, and some water just in case. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We'll start with some sunflowers and moonflowers to really um, begin to warm up our body. So begin with your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Toes are pointed out at an angle. We want to zip that inner core in, so zip that belly in nice and tight. Um, tall straight back and we'll begin in uh, five-pointed star. So take a few breaths here. As we take a big breath in, we can look all the way up towards the sky. And as we exhale, gently dropping our chin down to our chest. One more time like this. Deep breath in, looking to the sky. Exhaling, bringing our chin down to our chest. Let's take our eyes back to center. So as we come into sunflower, we'll um, bend our knees, coming into a squat. Sweeping your arms down in front, back up to that five-pointed star, and then moon flowers will bend the knees, bringing our elbows close to our ribs as we reach back up to that five-pointed star. So let's flow a few times through that, using our breath. So as we inhale, we'll sweep down, exhale to reach, inhale to come down, exhale all the way up. So continuing this flow at your own pace, up and down. Ah, start to warm up through your body, hinging forward, just really have fun with this, letting your body move, oh, allowing your heart to open as we come into that moonflower, opening your back as we come into our sunflower, good, two more like this, and one more. Take it down, back to Moonflower, and all the way back to where we started in that five-pointed star. So take a long breath in here, and as you exhale, bringing our hands down to our side, feet come back into hip distance, and just start to roll your shoulders back a few times. And forward. And we'll take those arms all the way out to the side. Moving into a little balance, but still working into heating up our body. Shift your weight onto your right foot, let the left toes come forward. So when we're here, making sure that standing knee is soft, tuck your hip under so you can really lengthen through your spine. Belly's pulled in tight. Let's lift and lower with that uh, left leg up and down. So reaching from fingertip to fingertip, really spreading your shoulders apart here. Let's do one more. And we'll lift that leg. Now bend the knee, point your toe, some toe touches here, down and up. So working into our balance, really starting to feel that heat building in our body, warming everything up. And let's go one more time, up and down. So now let's just straighten and bend, out and in. Make sure you're not holding your breath here. One more, then hold your leg right here, flex through that foot, we'll take your knee to the side, out and in. So really take your time to bring that knee out and in. We're not in a rush here, but keep your belly again pulled in tight. Let's do three more, two, and last one. Good, let your foot and arms come down, big breath in. Exhale, hands come back to your sides, shifting your weight now onto that left foot, right toes come forward, left knee is soft but that belly's pulled in tight, really lengthen through your spine, and let's take that leg up and down, up and down. Good, finding something to focus on really does help with these balance moves. 
One more. Good, now straighten that leg, bend the knee, toe touches down and up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now pull that knee up, good, straighten and bend, out and in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and last one. Now keep that knee right where it is, flex through your foot, we'll take the knee to the side. Out and in. Again, really trying to maintain that lengthening in your spine, trying not to sink into that standing hip. And we'll do three more. Out and in, out for two, last one. Woo, take it down, good, breath in. Exhale, let's take our hands to our sides, coming just halfway to a flat back. Good, reaching fingertips for the opposite wall, soft bend in your knees, belly's pulled in tight, let's let those hands come down. Holding here in ragdoll, we can bend our elbows and take our hands to the opposite elbows, just letting your head melt towards the floor. Hold here and breathe. And release your hands down, soft bend in your knees, and we'll slowly restack that spine one vertebrae at a time, keeping your belly pulled in nice and tight. Roll your shoulders all the way up, back and down, and we're making our way onto our back. So we're gonna come to the front edge of our mat, facing away from the mat so we can make our way onto our backs. Oh, let's stand nice and tall, and then we're gonna cross one leg over the other. Now for any of these moves, if something doesn't feel right, please feel free to back out of it. So if you're more comfortable just getting onto your mat in your own way, feel free to do that as well. But if you can, let's roll our shoulders down our back. Belly's pulled in tight. We'll reach those arms long out in front and slowly come up onto our toes. And then from here, we'll start to sl uh, slowly bend those knees. Ooh, there I go. Good, and when you go as far as you can and you can't go any further, let your hands come down and very gracefully have a seat. All right, well, we're making our way down onto our backs. So tuck those tummies in, hollow out through your belly, and then grab underneath your knees. As we make our way onto our back, we'll pull the knees in with us, giving them a nice big squeeze, maybe adding some side-to-side -side movement here, starting to massage that low back. And then we'll plant our feet into the mat. Coming into some imprinting here, let's bring our fingers so that they're really reaching down towards our heels. Shoulders relax into the mat. And we'll just rock our hips forward and back. So as we bring our hips in towards us, feeling the low back really coming and imprinting into the mat. And then as we push our hips away, making that gap between your low back and the mat. So we'll just take that a few times with our pelvic, pelvic tip, forward and back. Good, and then just settle into neutral spine so you'll have that natural curve in your low back, in your upper back as well, and underneath your neck. So we have three natural curves, just feel that. Then I want you to pull your belly in nice and tight towards your spine. So imagine you're pulling on a tight pair of pants. So squeeze that belly in and then we'll straighten those legs all the way up towards the sky. Heels together, toes pointed, zip your inner thighs together. And then let's draw some little circles here on the ceiling. So imagine that your toes are pencils. We want to draw little circles on the ceiling. Try not to get a lot of movement through your upper body here. One more, we'll hold center and then go ahead and reverse. And we wanna relax the shoulders away from our ears. One more, good, let's hold center. From here, we're gonna reach up and grab our right calf. And then let that left leg come down at our side, out at an angle. Shoulders roll down your back. And then with your belly pulled in tight, let's lift the shoulders off the mat. 
So we'll pull this leg in gently for our cut of two. Pull, pull, and then let's switch. Pull, pull, and switch. So we can add the breath with this. Inhaling one leg, exhaling through the other. Inhaling, and exhale. We'll do four more like this. Go at your own pace with your own breath. Last two, last one. Great job, hug those knees in. Maybe rocking side to side if that feels good. We'll keep our knees back up into tabletop here so our knees are right above our hips. Bellies are pulled in tight and our ankles are in line with those knees. Let's take our right hand to the outside of that knee. And then as we lift our shoulders off the mat, Reach long, picking your inside of your, or your left hand to the inside of your leg, straightening that left leg out, and then we'll switch. So we're not pulling on our legs here. Our hands are just here to keep those legs right in line with our body. Switch and switch. Let's do three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale one more time. Inhale and exhale. And go ahead and hug those knees in one more time. So now we'll bring our fingertips behind our ears. Belly's pulled in tight again towards our spine and straightening our legs all the way up. So Pilates stance here. Heels again are touching. Toes are pointed and we're zipping those inner thighs together. So keep rolling those inner thighs in towards one another. And then keeping that natural curve in your low back. We're gonna drop our legs down nice and slow for a count of three, and we'll zip them up real quick for a count of one. Let's try it. So it's down, two, three, bring it up. Down, two, three, and up. Make sure you're breathing here. We're doing six, so we're halfway. And up, here's five, two, three, and up, left one. Good job. So stay here. We're gonna reverse that. So we'll take it down nice and slow, and then we'll bring it up. Uh, no, we'll take it down real quick. Sorry about that. Take it down fast. Zip it up for three. Here we go. Take it down. Up, two, three. Take it down. Up, two, and three. Nice and quick though. Nice and slow up. Really control this movement and make sure we're breathing. We'll do two more here. And last one. Two and three, hugging those knees. Again, rocking side to side if that feels good. And then from here, let's roll it all the way up to seated. So we're gonna come into our roll down. With our roll down, we want to roll those shoulders all the way down your back. Arms are reaching out in front. So let's take our arms up at a slight angle. Scoop that belly in. So imagine someone has an ice cream scoop. They're hollowing out through your belly. We'll roll it down nice and slow, feeling each vertebrae as it hits the mat. Take a long breath in. As we exhale, slowly start to peel our spine off the mat, one vertebrae at a time. And then we'll lead with our heart as we reach forward over our toes before we stack that spine one more time. Let's do this three more times, going at your own pace. So arms come up, scoop in the belly, slowly rolling it down, reaching long overhead. Big breath in, exhale to peel your spine one vertebrae at a time off the mat, reaching long. Good, go two more times. So when we do this movement, we want to imagine that our spine is like a, a strand of pearls. So with each movement down, you can feel each vertebrae as it comes down onto the mat. And then as you peel your spine off the mat, feeling each vertebrae as it comes back up nice and long. All right, so that should have been uh, all yours. So let's sit up nice and tall with a knee here in seated stack pose. So with our toes facing up towards the sky, palms are down at our side, roll your shoulders down your back, and just take a nice breath in. And then 
big exhale out. We'll move here into saw. So let's take our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Maybe you need to remove some of that flesh from underneath your sit bones. Really feel grounded here. And we'll take our arms out wide, lengthen through your spine, and we'll do a quick twist to the right. And then we'll reach long, trying to touch the back of your hand and the back of your baby toe, taking it up and back to center. Twist first before we reach long. Coming up and back to center. Let's twist, reach, up, and center. Twist, reach, up, back to center. Sitting up tall, reach, up, and center. Last time to twist, to lengthen, come up, and back to center. Good, from here, take your hands down at your side. And we'll bring our legs together. Let's roll onto one side for some uh, side leg series. Doesn't matter which leg leads or which side you're on, but we do want to make sure our hips are stacked, legs are at a slight angle in front, and our shoulders are relaxed, bellies pulled in tight. Let's start by lifting that top leg up so it's in line with your hip. We'll point our toe as we come forward, then flex your foot as you bring it to the rear. We'll point and flex. So if you feel like your upper body's moving around at all here, just make this hinge a little bit shorter. Forward and back. Let's go three more. Last two. And just one more. Good. Let's settle in with our leg right in line with that hip again. With that belly pulled in tight, we'll drop our toe down in front, open up with a heel to the rear. Toe, heel, toe, heel. And just one more, front and back. Now we'll take our heel together, together coming back into that Pilates stance. All right, and let's make some circles here. Try and click those heels together on the way through. And reverse. Good, we'll hold here, rotate that foot so it's parallel to the other, and we'll just take this leg up and down. As we take that leg up and down, make sure that the toes are facing forward. We don't wanna Open up with the toes to the sky. Two more. One, two. Now little pulses up and down. Good job. Let's hold here. Pull both knees in. We'll come into our clamshell. Now I'm really tight through my um, the, my outer thigh here, my, and through my abductors and all the muscles and all that that we don't need to get into. But my knee does not come up real super high. Yours may open a lot higher than mine. So just go with your body. We'll just take it up and down. Again though, we wanna make sure that belly is pulled in tight to our spine. One more, up and down. Good, rub out through that hip. And then from here, let's roll it onto the other side. Get this other side in so we're nice and even. All right, so our bellies are pulled in tight. Again, we want to take that leg, uh, legs at a slight angle. Hips are stacked one on top of the other. Let's lift that top leg, point the toe as we come forward. Flex your foot as you come to the rear. And again, if your upper body is moving at all, just make your hinge a little shorter. It's all good. Front and back. Keep your belly pulled in tight. Imagine that tight pair of jeans you're trying to fit into. Front and back. We'll go two more times. Front and back and front and back. Good, let's come back to center, dropping that toe down in front, opening up with a heel to the rear. Toe and heel, toe. Good, now let's take those heels together, drawing those circles, clicking the heels together on the way through. And reverse. Good, we'll hold.
hold here, rotate those toes so they're facing forward, belly's pulled in, don't forget, taking that leg up and down. Make sure you're breathing here too, we don't want to hold our breath. Little pulses. Good, we'll take those legs together, bend the knees, coming into our clamshells up and down with that top knee. It's really thin for me. It's not going very far. That's all right, no judgment. It is what it is. One more, up and down. Good, from here we can rub out that hip. And then let's make our way onto our belly. So straighten those legs and just roll onto your belly. Coming into Sphinx Pose, we'll bring our elbows right underneath our shoulders. And then open your fingers nice and wide, plant your whole hand into the mat, and then lift through your upper body. So while you're here, roll your shoulders on your back, belly's pulled in tight. We'll do some little kicks here with our legs. So our right foot comes in and kicks for two, and then the left. Right, and left, and one more time, right, and left. Good, from here, let's go ahead and bend our elbows, taking them out to the side, and bring your forehead to the top of your hands. We'll let our legs come in nice and close together, and then just lift your low body, just your lower body. So your whole upper body is resting, Relaxing. Good. Let those legs come down. So now let's change it up just a little. We'll take our arms out to form a T. And then bring your cheek down to the mat. Doesn't matter which one. And then let your legs come to about mm, hip distance, we'll say. From here, we're going to lift arms and legs. So everything comes up. Reach your fingers to opposite wall. Reach your feet away from the crown of your head. And our eyes will just come down towards our mat. And we're breathing here. Don't hold your breath. I know you want to. Good. Release everything down. One more. We're going to take our legs a little wider than hip distance. Then bring your arms up at an angle so you're forming a Y here with your arms. Again, everything's coming up. Arms and legs. So as we lift everything up, let your eyes rotate down towards your mat. Again, we're, we're holding our, our arms up, reaching in opposite directions, kind of forming a star here with our body, and we're breathing. Let's hold for three, two, and one. Release everything down. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push all the way up and back to child's pose. Take a break. Breathe. Good. We'll make our way up to all fours. Knees come underneath. Our hips, bellies come up, uh, pull in tight. Shoulders are right above our wrists. So coming into our bird dog here, we'll straighten our right leg back behind us and then we'll lift so that our hips stay square with one, with one another. Let your left hand slide forward first and then lift it up with your thumb to the sky. And then we'll flex through that back foot pushing our heel away. Let's do some little pulses here up and down. Good, one more and we'll hold here, lengthen. And release. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So slide that left foot back first, then left, lift it up so that we can keep our hips in line with one another. Then just slide your right hand forward Letting your thumb go to the sky as you lift that arm up and flex through that back foot. Holding here. Eyes are looking straight down. Let's do those pulses up and down. Last one. Good. Let's come back to all fours. From here, we'll come into a downward facing dog. So tuck your toes under. Push your hips all the way up and back. Letting your ears come in line with your shoulders, and then any movement that you need here. Maybe pedaling your feet, maybe heels come up and down, maybe just kicking your hips side to side. Whatever movement you need to feel good. 
Feel free to take that. Now let's look to the top of the mat. Lengthen your right leg up towards the sky. Bend that knee. Pull your foot forward in between your hands. Drop your back knee down. Now tuck your toes. Reach the arms overhead. Low lunge. Rolling our shoulders down our back. Go ahead and take your palms together to touch. Hands down through heart center. Starting to slow everything down. So maybe pushing your hips forward just a little tiny bit to really feel that activation in your hip flexor. Then we'll start to hinge forward and let your hands come down. We'll walk our hands all the way back to meet our knees. As we do that, the toes will come up into a half split. Slow your breathing down. And start to walk your hands forward. We'll bring that front foot back, rounding through your upper back, and then pushing back through child's pose. We'll make our way all the way back up to all fours, tucking our toes under, pushing our hips all the way up and back, coming back into downward facing dog. Again, taking any movement that feels good for you here. Good, now let's lift that left leg all the way up. Look to the top of your mat, bend the knee as we pull that foot forward, dropping that back knee down, reaching all the way up into our low lunge. Palms together to touch, bringing our hands down through heart center. Let's push our hips forward, shoulders relax down our back. Hold here just for a breath in, and then exhale out. We'll start to hinge forward, bellies pulled in tight, releasing our hands down to our mat. We'll start to walk those hands back towards the knee. As we do that, the heel goes down and the toes come up. Really trying to lengthen through your spine here, trying to round. And then we'll start to walk our hands forward, pulling that front knee back. All right, from here, we're starting to, to slow everything down, getting ready to stretch. So let's do a few rounds of our cat cow. As we take a deep breath in, we'll drop our belly, hips go up, and we'll look up towards the sky. As we exhale, coming into our cat, rounding through our back, gentle tuck of our chin to our chest. Inhale to drop your belly, hips and eyes come up. Exhale into our, our cat. Good, inhale one last time into our cow. And as we exhale, we'll round into our cat. Good. From here, big toes to touch. Open those knees out wide. Push back through to child's pose. So let's take the palms of our hands together here. And then bend our elbows, trying to plug our thumbs into the back of our neck. Feeling a big stretch up through our tricep. And then we'll reach our arms out long. Coming up to all fours, go ahead and have a seat. Well, I hope you're enjoying this class. It's time to stretch. It's almost time to get ready for the rest of the day. So go ahead and cross your legs. We'll start to roll our shoulders back, slowing our breath down. Good, take a big breath in, palms to touch overhead, bringing our hands down through heart center. Let's come into a twist. So we'll take our left hand to our right knee, sweep that right hand to the floor behind you, lengthen as we inhale, start to twist from our hips, our shoulders, and then our eyes. As we exhale, let's just hold here in this pose. We'll sweep that back arm all the way up and over as we inhale, as we exhale, round through your upper back, gently tucking our chin to our chest. On this next breath in, let's open our arms wide, looking to the sky. And as we exhale, we'll bring our hands down to our sides. Coming into twist on the other side, we'll take a big breath in as we bring our right hand to our left knee and our left hand to the floor behind you. Lengthening through that spine and then exhale, coming into that twist. Inhale to sweep that back arm all the way up and over to the opposite knee. Exhale as you round through your upper back. 
Inhale to open your arms nice and big. This time on the exhale, give yourself a nice big hug. Be proud of yourself for moving today. You did an amazing job. Release those hands down. Now we'll uh, reverse the cross with our legs here. Taking our hands at our side on this big breath in, reach your left arm all the way up over as you do that. Take your right hand and walk it away. Exhale. Keeping both sit bones planted into the mat, we'll take a big breath in and sweep that arm to the side. Exhale, let's hold nice and tall. On this next breath in, reach your left arm, oh, your right arm all the way up and over. Exhale, let's hold here. Taking another big breath in, sweep that arm down. Exhale, nice and tall. Straightening your legs all the way out. We'll come into a forward fold as we begin to move a little bit deeper into our spine, reach forward. Trying to touch your toes, maybe yes, maybe no. It's all good. Then release your whole upper body into your thighs. Start to slowly walk your hands up. And you can either stay here with your legs straight or you can cross those legs. Either way, we'll roll our shoulders down our back. Close your eyes or come to a soft gaze, your choice. Let's take our hands down to our side. And on this next big breath in, sweep your arms overhead, palms to touch. As you exhale, put your hands down through heart center. We'll plug our thumbs into our heartbeat. Slowing our breath down. So just noticing all the sensations throughout your body. Hopefully it felt good to move today. You got a few good stretches in as well. Gently bow your chin down towards your chest. What are you grateful for today? Just giving yourself a little gratitude. Thanking yourself for taking the time out of your day to hopefully just feel a little bit better with all the movement we just did. You can either keep your eyes closed or just allow them to gently flutter open. And we'll bring our heads back to heart center, or back to center, <laughs> thumbs in the heart center. Take another long breath in, open your mouth, and let out a big sigh. <sighs> Let's do that one more time. Really make it count, getting rid of anything that no longer serves you. So with a big breath in through your nose, open your mouth, Give me a big sigh. I hope you enjoyed today's class. Oh, I hope everything is going well in your world. Uh, if you ever start to feel down, just think of something positive, something that can bring smile to your face. We all deserve to be happy and to smile. So hopefully this brought a little sunshine to your day. So that being said, be kind to others, but remember to be kind to yourself. And may the sky above and the earth below bring peace into your